Morning, everybody. Come on, let's go. It's time for another video. See what's gonna happen, where I'm gonna go. It's the vlog I did a video. Okay, so it's not technically morning, and if I said good, it's not good either, necessarily. I woke up at 8, because the dog wouldn't come inside when they were leaving, and they came home with this. Not the keyboard, not the box springs, but you see the point. So now it's pretty my day putting it together. Even though it is going to be for me, it's still blah. We have to go to the hardware store because we need some stuff. I don't even remember what we need. But yeah, now, in case you haven't noticed, I'm on Ben's old camera, which is different and it's more wide angle and I like it better. Ben bought his new one last night. Um, you know, if you can hear my parents yelling in the background, hey everybody, I got pizza! Well, you can't even see that. Oh, there you go. It's gonna be good. Chicken and bacon? Yeah! Kitty! So, we have to build the bed. I'll show you guys. Yeah. Finalized. Let's put together everything. Holy crap. It is like most of my room. <laughs> but it's super comfy. So, in yesterday's vlog, there was a clip of me and Ben were sitting in the car talking and telling you guys what happened at Walmart. Um, but part of the. I ended up divided it into somehow, like I thought it was one clip, but apparently it stopped recording and then I hit record again. I don't remember that happening, but it apparently happened. And then. Uh, now. <laughs> The second half, which is what I actually tell you what happened, is gone. So after I get yesterday's video edited, which will happen momentarily, because I haven't started editing yet, I need to, but anyway, um, in this video I will tell you guys what happened. Well, I thought I was going to be able to edit right now, but apparently I didn't convert the clips, so I can't edit yet. But, but in better news, I do believe, I hope, that with this camera and uh, whatever replaces it, I won't have to use a converter anymore. It's really helped because it gets really annoying. It takes more time than actual editing sometimes. This is something I'm not going to miss once I get to a different program. And it's not even that I'm not going to miss that because you're going to do that with everyone. I'm not going to miss the way this program lags sometimes. Like it lags when you're trying to do the edit sometimes. If you know when you're playing the video, it lags a little bit. But I, I'm going to not miss the way this program looks. This is kind of ugly to me. But the day for the 26th, which is the Friday, which is the day that just got here, is uploading. There was like six clips for it, so that's a short day. Uh, then I'm going to do yesterday's video, and then I'm going to work on this one. So I want to tell you guys a very brief, shortened version of what happened last night. Remember, this is a very, very more polite version. I'm not going to mention what store, what Walmart we were at. Those of you who know, fine, but those of you who don't, just whatever. I'm, I'm just trying to be done with it, you know. Last night, I was I was ready to hurt somebody. We went to Walmart after, after leaving Target to look go see what they had, because, you know, Walmart was open 24 hours. We went there, and they had a bunch of cameras, cameras on clearance. So I called Jess, and I was like, hey, could you look up the sound quality? You know, because the biggest thing with these cameras is the sound quality. you got to have a decent quality sound. Like, you just have to. So I was like, could you look up the sound quality for me? Because I didn't have access to a computer, and my I had my phone, but at the same time, I didn't have headphones with me, so I could have put them together and, and, you know, tried to hear it, but my phone's audio processing isn't that great anyway, so I just had her do it. We talked about some models and stuff like that, and, like, this third one we talked about, she said was a good one, so that's what we did. We 
Wait in line, wait in line, wait in line. We found, that we looked online on their little computer. This particular Walmart has computers where you can do the uh, online thing on their website. The guy wasn't helping us, whatever, so I looked at that, and they have it for cheaper online. It was 140 in the store and $109 online. Well, I talked to the guy, you know, I was like, one, you don't guys don't have a display, can we see the camera? You know, like, you know, when you're coming to vlogging, the most, one of the more other important things is the camera has to feel okay in your hands, be comfortable. Can't be a really big camera, because then, you know, but it has to be kind of light, because you don't want to, you don't want a 10 pound camera, like, like a 5 pound camera, and you have to extend your arm all the way out, you want a really light camera. I was like, dad, you know, what's your return policy on, because it was a clearance camera, like, what's the return policy? If it doesn't work, could you bring it, you know, also was like, you know, this is cheaper online, can we get it for that price? But apparently Walmart will not let you buy, if you buy it in the store, like you straight up go to the store and pick it up and pay for it there. You cannot do it like that. They will not give it to you for their online price. And it wasn't a difference of a couple of bucks. It, 140 versus 109, like $30 difference. And then he said, well, you could cite the store, but it wouldn't be here till the 3rd, which is Friday. And today is, uh... We'll see what's today. Today is Sunday, so I wouldn't be here for almost a week. Even though I was holding it, you know, we were holding it in our hands. And he said there was a fee for it, which I've never, ever, ever seen a Walmart thing saying there's a fee for site to store. I've never heard anybody say something about a fee for, for site to store. I've never seen an item they charged a fee for. So this guy, in my opinion, he was just being a jerk. I understand he had a bunch of crowd, whatever. So I talked to Ben, and I was like, look, it's $5 more than you were originally planning to spend, even if you pay full price. Do you still want to get it? After talking, he decided to go ahead and buy it. So then, you know, it's right around, I think right around 10 o'clock last night, that night. And at this particular Walmart, like many Walmarts across the country, uh, once ten, like they close on customer service and things like that, the cashier lines, like the checkout lines, they go crazy. I was like, why don't you just check out it here? But in the time being, we had waited for like half an hour for this guy, you know, to, to, we could tell him, yeah, we want to buy the camera. So let's, you know, let's bring it out or whatever. He's seen us several times. He walked away from us several times. He, he knew we were standing there waiting for him at his register. He helped several other customers instead of helping us. I understand, like, maybe they caught him first, but he did look at us standing there against the counter like, hello, and he still refused to wait on us. So I just start to go to the front to see how busy the front lines are, and maybe we'll just take the camera out up front, I guess. And then I see him, some other lady had stopped him. Well, she wanted him to grab some kind of, like, TV stand or something like that. And he had to grab another one. She was giving him an attitude. I understand she gave him an attitude. But in my eyes, you don't get an attitude with your customers. And that's exactly what he did to me. I walked up to him, and I said, hey, just so you know. At this point, he had 8 to 10 people waiting for him in the electronics department. Just so that either they can help him get video games out of the cases or whatever. So I calmly and politely... Said, so just so you know, when you get finished helping that lady, you have about eight to ten people standing back there waiting for you. And he turns around and says to me, well, if you can't tell, I'm with a customer. Very ignorantly, very... You, you know what I'm saying. You know, Jess left yesterday, so I wasn't in a great mood, but I was, you know, I was kind of faking it. But that kind of broke that final straw for me. But rather than, you know, saying something... <laughs> I was going to get me kicked out the store, I walked away. You know, I asked to speak to a manager or whatever. Yes, he did get reprimanded some way. The manager did be like, hey, I want, I, you, no, my office right now. Yeah, I don't know what they did to him, probably nothing, but the, he did get, you know, said something to at least. So Ben, uh, he walks up to me while I'm standing there waiting for the manager to come up and talk to me. And he says the guy let him stand back there for another, like, 10 to 20 minutes only to find out when he finally flagged the guy down that his register's closed. That's fun, but you would have thought sometime along the way he would have said, hey, guys, sorry, I can't check you out back here. My register's closed. Or just so you know, my register's closed. Or when we said, okay, we'll think about buying it because we, you know, we don't really know that much about it or whatever. He said, okay, fine, okay, that, whatever, but you need to go up front if you plan up here. You know what I mean? You think he would have said something, but, but Ben was really mad. So I talked Ben into just going up and buying it. Just go up front and buy it. So he buys it, and I'm on the phone with Jess, and I finally get a hold of the manager or whatever, blah, blah, blah. He yells at the guy, tells him to go to his office, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's pretty much how the night went. I know that, uh, if that particular person is working, I will never buy anything from that Walmart's electronics section again that I need him for. For one, I know more. I'm not going to say everybody, but I know more than most of the people who work in the electronics department. I know more about the stuff that they're selling than they do. And that's sad to see. I'm not saying that everybody who works for Walmart is bad or retarded or anything like that. I'm just saying I know my stuff. And just the stuff I know is probably going far beyond their training. But anyway, that's what happened last night. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm going to get on Skype with Jess. Good night and uh...
Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you like the quality of this vlog. I mean, not as far as content, but video quality and audio quality. Alright, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!